Hi, my name is Eddie Shanahan. In this video, we'll discuss front-end observability from Grafana Cloud. One of the biggest challenges we see facing observability teams today is, how can I get deep end-to-end -end visibility into my cloud native applications, including modern browser front-ends, which seem to be getting more and more complex as time goes on. And without that visibility, it can lead to a bad user experience potentially without knowing what the end user is actually experiencing. I'm very excited to announce front-end observability from Grafana Cloud. What front-end observability does is it gives operators an immediate understanding of their end user experience by measuring the loading, interactivity, and visual stability of the front end. It allows them to aggregate, triage, and prioritize front end errors, and also provides an end-to-end -end view of every single user transaction when combined with open telemetry and distributed tracing. Let's take a look at how we can use front end observability to find a problem in my application. Here is my front end dashboard, which is showing the performance of core web vitals things like time to first byte and cumulative layout shift. These web vitals are an industry standard and important gauges of how my app is actually performing for my end users. We're also given some other important performance data, including things like the total number of errors and P75 response times. Looking at the overall errors, I get a top-down view of all of my front-end errors, which have automatically been aggregated and ranked by the number of occurrences. Hmm. Here's one related to the recommendation service. I don't think I've seen that one before. Why don't we take a closer look? This detailed error view provides a lot of specific information about my error. So we know the app and browser version, page URL, and the stack trace to see what the error is showing. I can also link directly from this error to the user session to find out how this error came about. Why don't we do that? In the session detail view, I get the full picture I have all my browser KPIs for the session, and it's revealing the sequence of actions leading up to this error. Most importantly, I have here a link to the backend traces. I'm going to go ahead and stack rank these traces by time, and why don't we click on one to find out exactly why this end user session was impacted. A distributed trace view shows the timings of both the front end and server side calls. This is great to help establish fault domain isolation. And just by taking a look at this, I can see a span with an error. If I investigate the spans related to the recommendation service, I see that there's a span attribute that's letting me know that this span is not hitting our cache. Maybe this is because of memory leak potentially, but now I have some concrete information that I can get off to our backend engineering team to help resolve this issue. Front-end observability data is stored in Grafana Cloud Logs, a highly scalable centralized logging solution powered by Grafana Loki. To get started, sign up for a free Grafana Cloud account today and empower your teams with end-to-end -end visibility across the stack.